Hey guys, so I'm doing a quick video here today to show you guys yung pinakabago na Odyssey for 2023 um, which is this one here, which is the Honda Odyssey Black Edition So in the years past, you know, nakita nyo sa mga videos ko we've had the Pilot Black Edition we've had the Passport na Black Edition, CRV Black Edition So for 2023, meron naman tayong Odyssey na Black Edition Now, for the 2023 model years, no, um, as per Honda Canada we are almost like completely sold out ng 2023 na mga model years dahil na rin sa, sa global inventory shortage you know as you guys are aware the microchip shortage hanggang ngayon nandito pa rin which has affected yung production ng mga brand new na sasakyan globally and across all brands so with that in mind you know even sa Honda Canada na website nakalagay doon na lahat ng 2023 models na available kami uh, especially for this vehicle here in the Odyssey very 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 limited na lang ang available na inventory now with that being said if you are interested in this kind of vehicle here um, we can try placing an order for you but it will most likely be a 2024 model na so this one here was a special special order for a client no um, as you can see, it has yung roof rack sa taas which normally, hindi kasama ng asakyan so pinalagay na yan ng, uh, ng new owner at yung 3M tape sa harapan pero since hindi pa niya kinukuha yung asakyan I just wanna do a quick video para makita ninyo uh, yung mga features nung specific special trim na ito for 2023 so, just like all the black edition vehicles ng Honda as you can see, it's got the nice black exterior no? LED headlights, LED rin yung kanyang fog lamps so you can see there so it doesn't have yung black edition na badging sa harapan like the other uh, vehicles no however you can actually see yung badging niya sa likuran I'm gonna show you guys later so another exclusive with the black edition is yung always the 19 inch na wheels with the alloys and glossy black yung pintura niya so yun yung itsura niya for the Odyssey it's got the chrome trim which goes really well right with the black Nung sakyan, you got your turn signal lights there. Very nice black contrast nung chrome, chaka nung gloss in the wheels no on the actual vehicle itself. So yan siya. So as you guys know, you know, if uh, matagal ka lang nakafollow sa page ko, or maybe you know, you're familiar with Honda vehicles, the Black Edition is pretty much a touring with just extra embellishments. So mainly, yung aesthetic embellishments. Gaya nga nung, for example nga, yung glossy na black wheels na wala sa regular na touring. Now this one here, also has the LED tail lights as you can see there. The blacked out Odyssey badging dito. And yung exclusive na Black Edition badge so as you can see right right from the very back no we got the backup sensors here so we got backup sensors sa na to. backup cameras right there so this one here has the kickstart um, lift gate so all you have to do is go like this it's gonna open up so yung tsura sa loob so this is yung version ng Honda for the stowaway seats so ganyan siya nag-fold down and to bring these up, all you have to do is hold it here So as you can see, no? Ayan siya Put that up May atake mo to Adjust mo ng konti kung gusto mo And there you go, really easy like that, no? So we're gonna do the same thing here 60-40 split Atake mo lang to ulit and there you go. So you got all this nice cargo space over here. Ito yung sa loob niya. So with the black edition, the interior is going to be leather with the exclusive red stitching. Itong red stitching na to is exclusive sa black edition trims ng mga Honda vehicles. You got a power outlet dito. Kung gusto may mga upo sa likuran, gusto nila mag-charge ng electronics sila, may power outlet there. Now the one thing that I am going to point out, and it's a bit unfortunate no, um, is in the years past, the Touring trim level ng Odyssey had yung Honda Vacuum which was normally here. So unfortunately for 2023 for the Black Edition, wala siyang kasamang vacuum. So I do have to point that out. You know, as a parent myself, I like yung vacuum na yun, So it sucks that it doesn't have it anymore. But anyways, moving on. 
power lift gate. So let's close that up. This also has yung power sliding doors. So I'm gonna show you guys here. So just pull this up a little bit like this. Bubukas na siya. So on the inside naman, so you can see, this is a three-seater sa gitna. However, you can actually take the seat off kung gusto mo. So if you want to turn this into the traditional minivan, you can take the middle seat out para captain seat siya. Mas madali yung labas pasok sa loob. Now I'm gonna fold the seat forward. As you do that, you just have to pull this. Also go in the back there, no? So on the back here, pasok sa loob. Very nice, comfortable seats. One thing I like with this one here as a family vehicle, it has this shade, window shade for the third row. So I know for some vehicles, wala ito. But there you go. So if you can't afford yung tint and you want that extra shade sa looban or meron kang tint, and I think tint, limo tint would look really good sa sakin na to. Extra shade, if, especially if kids are gonna be the ones na upo sa likuran, I like this feature here. There's also another power outlet here, again for extra charging. Now, yung headphone jack na ito is for the headphones that comes with the vehicle. So you do have the option to go wired or wireless for the headset. And that headset is for the built-in DVD slash media player. So, if you're not familiar with the page, I actually demonstrated um, how this works in the past. Uh, not for DVDs, but the Nintendo Switch of my children. So, they brought their Nintendo Switch, we plugged it in here, they were able to play with their Nintendo Switch. And in theory, right, all the game systems that you may have, you can use it because it has the HDMI input there. So, so just bring the HDMI cord. And my power outlet then, sak sak mo lang yung game system mo, and you can watch DVDs, you can watch uh, movies, you can um, play video games, sa screen na yan. And again, this is a very family friendly feature that I like with the Honda Odyssey, and you know the Honda Pilot also has this as well. Same thing there on the other side. Now, really cool thing on the other side, right? It has the USB charging port. So kung wala ka no power outlet yung ano yung sinasaksak sa ano sa dating anuhan ng i forgot the actual term <laughs> but anyways you guys know what i mean right if nasa yun lang yung usb cable then you can charge your devices here as well so it's really nice same on the other side the sunshade is there as well it's gotta bring that up atakin mo lang to pataas and there you go diba very nice Space-wise, not bad for an adult here in the back. So as I mentioned before, I'm five foot ten. So even kung upo sa gitna, you know, still pretty good space, still pretty good leg room. Of course, you can't you can't stretch yung legs mo, right? Which is why most of the time, the third row seat dito is better suited para sa mga may lit na bata or maybe smaller uh, adults or smaller teenagers. But for somebody my size, it's still pretty good. So let's get out of the vehicle. And to do this, let's just pull that up. So this seat here, as you can see, lengthwise is adjustable. So you can have this one here a little bit more to the front. Kung kailangan mo na extra leg room sa likuran. And you can also move this back kung gusto mo. So a nice little lever down here, as you can see. So space-wise naman sa gitna. Let's take a seat. Let's see. So again, really good space for somebody my size, no? Since power sliding door siya, you can open and close them from the inside. Gaya nitong ginawa natin. So just like the rear, it also has the sunshade built in dito. Again, family needs in mind. Right? You have the sunshade. Same thing din dito. Sabit mo lang siya dito sa hook dito. O, diba? So, in combination with limo tint, it's gonna make the vehicle look good stay cool during the summer and you know extra shade for the kids or para sa mga tao na upo sa middle row 
So, since you can take this panel off kung gusto mo, you're gonna notice na both the left and the right side passenger seats has the handrests, which are really nice. You can just go like that, no? Or parang sabi nga sa akin before, no? One of my previous followers, nung napanood niya yung binenta kong Odyssey before na touring, parang aeroplano raw yung loob. <laughs> I can kind of see it now na, you know, with the handrests and stuff like that. So with the black edition as well, you're gonna notice, aside from the red stitching, you're gonna notice the perforated leather seats. Yung mga butas-butas na yan. It's supposed to help keep the leather cool. You know sabi? Right? And of course, aside from the DVD player, parang sabi ko nga, you got your HDMI ports here and USB charging ports over there. Meron ka rin pockets dito sa likuran if you ever want to put your extra stuff here. These are also leather. So, extra pocket here, one pocket here. So, yan siya. Diba? Very nice. So, to get out, just have to do this. So, nabas tayo ulit. So, ayan siya. One other one. Extra look sa loob, no? So, let's close this up. And, punta naman tayo sa driver's side. So, ito mo yung driver's side natin. So, you got your power adjustable seats. Again, with the perforated leather interior. And the exclusive black edition stitching sa loob ng sakyan. So, upuan niya. So going inside, just like all the other black edition trim na vehicles, you're gonna notice the piano black. Ito, itong tawag namin dyan, piano black trim, right? With the wood grain combination here, wood grain, black leatherette, and piano black na plastic trim here. Since this is pretty much a touring trim, it has all the features na you can find sa Honda offering. So it has the GPS, it has the backup camera, it has the push button start, it has the heated and cooling seats over there, econ mode, right? Show you guys yung backup camera niya. So all the bells and whistles that you can find in a Honda vehicle, nandito siya. The DVD slash Blu-ray player is down here. So, dito mo lang lalagay yung mga DVDs kung gusto mo panoorin ng mga bata. Now, the power outlet, this one here, used to be sa likuran. So, Honda moved it here. And again, it's one of those features na I like. No? Yung actual nasaksakan talaga. You know what is there. USB charging ports here. And of course, another power outlet over here. Now, but going back to sinabi ko kanina, if you bring your kids game systems or Nintendo Switch or whatnot, saksak mo lang dito yung adapter, put the game system here sa gitna, and then they can play their stuff, saksak mo yung HDMI sa likuran. So this one here also has the hand rest. Again, these are really handy to have. Mag-drive ka. Mayroon ka mag-long drive, you know, when you're driving, especially if you cruise control ka lang, patong lang kamay mo dyan. It makes it, the ride so much more comfortable. So this one here, as you can see, if you can tell, is the wireless charging system. So you can charge your phone here. Depende sa tipo ng phone case na meron ka, or if your phone is enabled for wireless charging, you do have a charge pad there. Gaya na sabi ko, the vehicle comes with two headsets for the DVD player slash media player with a remote. And of course, extra Input there's aux cable input, USB input. If you wanna put your uh, music or movies sa USB stick, pwede mo siyang saksak dyan para mapanood niyo sa biyahe. So yan siya. Glove box, of course. The usual, right there. Let's put this on park. Leather wrap steering wheel. Heated steering wheel for all of us for all of us who live in Western Canada who you know pag malamig kailangan gusto natin may heated steering wheel so the vehicle has it all the safety features na meron sa Honda right you got your pre collision mitigation braking system you got your rear traffic sensors let's see if I can show you guys here safety support so as you can see there no zoom ko lang yung camera natin so road departure mitigation system blind spot monitors let's turn that on actually 
collision mitigation, braking systems, all the safety features na meron yung mga yung brand namin. Meron sa sakin na to. That is the one thing that I don't, you know, I miss about the old generation uh, and the lower trims, yung Honda Lane Watch. So it doesn't have the Honda Lane Watch anymore. Blind spot monitor na siya. Doon sa mismo nga sakin. It's not even there, guys. It's actually here. So this part here will light up if may sakyan sa blind spot mo. Diba? So overall, a very nice vehicle you know i wasn't expecting the honda will put out the black edition for the odyssey i was actually hoping they would do a black edition for the civic or maybe the accord but you know they gave it to the odyssey which again looks nice if you don't want to drive a, a standard slash typical na minivan or maybe you like the odyssey but you want you were hoping that it would look a bit more cooler a bit more nicer Right, then the black edition is definitely a trim that you should consider if big if you can find one dahil nga as in talagang very very limited ang supply we only have one na ito and ito nga is nabenda na the sunroof is there forgot to point that out programmable driver seats and dahil nga push button start siya built in a remote starter Mechanically speaking, walang nagbago sa 2022 model sa 2023. It still runs on the 3.5 liter V6 engine. Like it's pretty much the same. It just so happens na binigyan niya siya ng black edition, which is you know the more sleeker, more nicer, more fancier looking uh, na version for our Honda vehicles. So there you go, guys. So again, if you're interested in a Honda Odyssey uh, in the black edition, let me know, kasi we have to order this in now price point wise it's not cheap okay i believe this one here is nasa mga 60,000 could be more i don't have the exact pricing on me and most of the time naman talaga whenever i do these videos i never go into details of pricing kasi 99% of my clients you know are financing their purchases so of course there's going to be taxes there's going to be fees so and of course credit Right? So that's why I never go into detail sa pricing ng mga sakyan whenever I do these videos. I just wanted to show you guys yung features na meron yung sakyan. And to give you an idea, hoy, ito pala, meron palang bragong Honda Odyssey for 2023. Which is this one here, the Black Edition.